You've decided that you want to be a space pirate. You want to skip all the missions and station building and get right to capturing ships and selling that loot. Luckily for you, the game gives you everything you need right at the beginning to do this. Now here we are with our young gun start, looking at this elite vanguard. First thing we're going to do is put this ship into the trash compactor, because where else do you put garbage? And then we're going to start a new game. And which start are we going to choose? That would be the untested explorer, because this is the ship you start with. The Discoverer. This very pretty scout is one of the best in the entire game for capturing small and medium ships because of two reasons. It has two guns, while most scouts only have one, and it's protected by a paper-thin hull. Being in a ship that can't take a hit sounds like a weakness, and it very much can be, but one of the modifiers for determining if a pilot abandoned ship is the ratio of your maximum hull points to their remaining hull points. I know that can be a bit confusing to get your head around at first, but another way of looking at it is that the smaller and punier your ship is, the more intimidating it appears. From a game mechanic point of view, I understand why Egosoft did this. It gives these smaller ships a niche, aside from the dubious honor of Expendable Scout, where they can be best in class so as to remain relevant through the entire game. However, it's not very intuitive, and I wish they explained this mechanic better. Or perhaps they did in the manual or tutorial and I just didn't find it. Although anyone that has gone through the in-game encyclopedia will probably share my doubts about that. Because otherwise, you may do what I did and buy the biggest ship with the most guns thinking overwhelming firepower would get captains to surrender faster. But no, that is actually the worst thing you can do. We are going to take this discoverer to neutral space and show you a few tactics to make capturing ships a bit easier. The only thing this ship is missing is a police scanner and some marines, but those are optional. I prefer Silent Witness as we are going to be ignoring the large freighters for now and that sector just feels like it has more of the targets that we're looking for. The easiest targets will be the small transports as they have no guns. Before you fire a single shot, you may want to scan it and look at the pilot's morale rating and the number of crew. The higher these numbers are, the longer it's going to take. You will need a police scanner to see the morale ranking, but the basic scanner will at least show you the crew numbers. A ship will lose a maximum of 3 crew every 30 seconds, so keep that metric in mind in choosing a target. Once you've chosen your mark, just start blasting as you want to remove its shields as fast as possible to keep it from boosting away. The game does a dice roll every 30 seconds to see if any crew bail, and that first roll happens when the ship is at 75% hull. And there he goes. The ship is now, well, no one's, but we can now claim it. Right click your target and select claim. A marine will now get in a pod and fly over there. It'll take him a second to get going, but he's a marine, not a pilot, so I'm gonna cut him some slack on that. Now he's got it, just look at him go. Unfortunately, Marines don't know how to use doors, so instead he's going to make his own door by blowing a hole through it. Yep, very unnecessary as the shields and weapons just got blown off and we lost a lot of hull points. If you don't like the idea of your crew blasting apart your prize, you can board it yourself. Find the data leak, you can use the short range scanner to see the glowy red thing easier. I'm just going to position my ship to be as close as possible. Get out into your spacesuit and fly over. Don't forget that your spacesuit has a scanner too. Magpie, Vanguard. Once you get close to the leak, just hit it with your repair tool. Request docking, get inside, and it's now yours. Now small ships are good, but what if you want bigger? If you go after the bigger traders, you're gonna get shot at. You can divide them into two categories, either one turret or two turrets, which will determine how you attack them. Single turrets are easier, just get right underneath the gun and stay there. Don't worry if you take a few hits on approach, just try to get in that blind spot as fast as you can. That gun can't hit what it can't see. Dual turret traders, you approach the opposite way. Instead of getting right up in there, you instead stay between 2 and 3 kilometers and use your directional thrusters to go in a big circle and the turrets will not be able to properly track you. 
he will try to close the distance, so you're going to be using those reverse thrusters a lot. If he gets too close, don't be afraid to disengage and come in again once you've gained some more distance. Once you get yourself in a good rhythm, you'll be dodging bolts like a pro. If you're having trouble keeping that distance, you can just put a bunch of holes into that ship. The pilot tends to get less aggressive once he realizes he is losing. And there is another ship ready to claim. Now this fight took over four minutes, so it's going to take much longer than those small ones. But to get these bigger ships, it's definitely worth it. Just like that, you're now a space pirate. But before we go, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please give a click to all the good buttons at the bottom so that more people can see it. And for the next video, we are going after the larger ships using this big guy. Until then, fly safe.